Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you the um, uh, multiplayer online version for Stadia. Uh, I'm going to start with Destiny 2. It's been on there for a very long time since it launched, I believe. Um, and just to show you the stability and how it works. So here we got it. Uh, I'm just going to load up straight from my Chrome browser. I'll try and keep the volume up just so you can hear a little bit of the background noise, but not over myself. Now, um, I'm running this on an 11-year-old Mac iMac uh, just using a Google Chrome browser. I've got QuickTime recording the screen um, so normally if I was doing this uh, I wouldn't be able to use any program at all. Um, the great thing about Stadia is the fact that it's it, it's so quick. If you think about how kind of long things take to load with consoles and uh, and PC, uh, we, we, I would say Stadia definitely seems to pip those in terms of loading time. Obviously, you don't have to download anything. Uh, save games and everything is all online. And as we come into Destiny 2, it's probably one of the longer ones to... Uh, and uh, you see, I've really only just started playing Destiny 2. Okay, so... Uh, let's... I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, let's just go here then. I'll do. So let's launch this. Oh, obviously, usual Destiny 2. You can add friends in or whatever it might be. I'm not 100% sure if this is cross-play with uh, PC. Um, I don't know if it is. I know that a lot of things now are starting to become uh, more, more uh, enabling more cross-play. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, which I'll show you in, se in a minute, that certainly has crossplay with PC, which is great. So we're now in. Um, as you can see, let's see how how good the stability is with this. We'll go and do whatever this event is. We're supposed to control this, right? And here we just just protecting this area, it seems. Oh wow, I'm just getting absolutely nailed here. Um, but as you can see, it's very stable. The graphics are holding true. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, that's how it's really great. As you can see, it's uh, it working really, really well. Whoa, and I just died. Uh, probably should have moved away from that. I don't know. Respawning. I don't claim to be the best player at this either. Uh, please remember. Let's see if I can help these guys. Whoa, he's big. Awesome. Right, where are you guys? Do I, do I need to revive, I presume? Go and pick up all of these. Oh, oh, there's a awesome. I heard there's explosions from here. What was that? Oh, it feels like taking out a mine or something. Just as a mandate. And I stand in awe. Okay, so that was um that was Destiny 2. And just go to exit game, just as normal. Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, Elder Scrolls Online uh, as a second multiplayer game on Stadia. Uh, so you'll see how quickly it loads on this. Um, but it, I've just been really impressed with the game overall. Uh, it's got a real good amount of mix 
of single player and uh, multiplayer group battlefield pvp pve plenty of stuff to do but it's the story this, the narrative on this game is so rich it's it's a real plus for the game it actually feels like you're just playing a single player elder scrolls game and then you can just get people to come in and help you with those quests and then you can play dungeons as well as an added added bonus uh the voice acting as well as the writing is also top notch uh what to expect is as we expect from uh bethesda and uh and uh elder scrolls so as a veteran of playing i didn't play morrowind i've got to be honest um but oblivion certainly in skyrim um it, it's, it's nice to get the feel of of those games back with with an mmo uh but it's not without its problems all right so this is my character slicer and my mount which i got at level 10 guinevere and i'm currently doing a solo mission so a solo dungeon which is part of the main story the one that drives the main story with cinematic cin cinematics and everything else um i've got a full inventory uh that's what that red arrow down the bottom is trying to show me there you see here my inventory space is zero have i got any useless yeah let's get rid of that um, anyway, uh, so yeah, plenty of uh, stuff to do. But what you can see at the moment, perhaps what I should have done is... Um, oh, what's this? Looks like a word of power, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to walk over them. But... I think you blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. So hopefully you managed to hear that. Um, the the voice acting's absolutely brilliant in this. Oh dear. That's uh, quite a tragic story. The the graphics, uh, we've got snow here. Your draw distance is pretty good. Um, as you can see there. Uh, the lighting effects are good. But you can see that the textures are slightly dated. Oh, who's saying that? No idea. Right. Um, so, can I travel out of here? I might not be able to travel out of here. So, in terms of locations in the game, there are a lot. So, can we travel? Let's have a look. Yes, we can. So, I'm just going to spend the 75 gold and let's travel to a location. Just see what we've got going on. Uh, by the way, there's third person and first person. As you can see here. I tend to play first person. I, I quite like it first person, but I will show you both. Um, but what I wanted is is an area where there's a lot of player characters, a lot of activity. It's cross-play with PC, so you do get a lot of people coming in. That is the big problem with Destiny 2. It's not cross-play at the moment, so you do struggle to find people. You need to be Discord channels and all the rest of that. Unfortunately, it's snowing, which isn't, which I would say is probably the least uh, impressive in terms of graphic graphical fidelity. Uh, but, you know, we've got plenty of people around here. Um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't stop working. It, it it goes as fast as it always does. I love those things, those striders, by the way. Um, and you can see here we got, uh, you know, it's, it's, pre it's pretty decent graphics. You, c you know, it's not phenomenal. It definitely is not phenomenal graphics. But it, it's, it's nice enough to keep you going and keep you intrigued in the game and what's going on. But as you can see, it's... Uh, oops. No lacking. So, that's a little bit about Elder Scrolls Online. I highly recommend it, especially if you can get a group together. If you can get a group together, it makes it so much better um, as a game. So that's my recommendation. Uh, I really, really do like it. I think it's it, it's one to definitely try, um, especially as it's free with Pro. So again, with a lot of these games, you can play them for free with pro it gives you a month's free subscription anyway so you can just try all these games out and how you like them uh, but it's stable it's using a chrome browser which is just what i love i love about the stadia is i can just get a chrome browser and hopefully if they do uh, start to support ios then we can start then i can start using mobile gaming uh, at proper full 1080p on a on a phone or my ipad cannot wait especially with a retina display Okay, guys, thanks very much.